six patients are in the ICU. We have continuing coverage this morning of those court cases that people are pursued concerning the vaccine mandate here in Oregon. Emma Jerome is live for us this morning after speaking with local political scientists about the process that people will have to go through to see results. Emma. Good morning, Ken and Emily. I'm diving deeper into the litigation that we're seeing right now. I spoke with OSU professor of political science, Christopher Stout, and he explained the process for me like this. He says, if you believe that you should have an exemption from this vaccine mandate and you haven't gotten one, or if you just outright oppose it, you can file a civil suit and take that matter before a judge. But he says, History is likely to repeat itself, and even at the lowest level, he thinks the ruling will be upheld that a state can hand down a vaccine mandate. Historically, there is a strong legal precedent, precedent supporting vaccine mandates, but like in any case, there's an appeals process, and one ruling doesn't mean this litigation can't find its way to higher courts. He says the drama or controversy of these cases might raise the profile high enough and get attention of high court. This is a difficult case. There's so much precedent going in one direction, but let's say there was more controversy and the courts were all making different decisions. And because there's so many different cases, courts making these decisions, then that's something that's going to spark the interest of not only the state Supreme Court, but then the federal Supreme Court. So the more cases, I guess, Hypothetically, the more likely there would be disagreement, which then could raise the profile of the case. He said one major difference he's noticed in behavior towards this pandemic is the polarization. And he says that stems largely from party allegiance. That is a factor that could raise the profile of these different cases. And that's something that we're going to talk a little bit more about in the next half hour, something that's called hive mind mentality and what that means for this. Reporting live in Portland this morning, Emma Jerome, Coin6 News. All right, thanks Emma. Well, it's 5.07 right now. We want to check in on that forecast. Meteorologist Kelly Bayern here with another wet wake up for us this morning. Yeah, especially if you are out towards the coast. Uh, we're seeing some of those heavy showers now rolling in. A chance we see some of those heavy showers.